types of denial of service attacks the dos attacks can be divided into three classes bandwidth throughput attacks protocol attacks and software vulnerability attack bandwidth attacks used to consume resources such as network bandwidth or equipment throughput high data volume attacks can consume all available bandwidth between an isp and your site the link fill up and legitimate traffic slowdown timeout may occur causing retransmission generating even more traffic an attacker can consume bandwidth by transmitting any traffic at all on your network connection a basic flood attack might use udp or icmp package to simply consume all available bandwidth for that matter an attack could consist of tcp or row ip packets as long as the traffic is routed to your network a simple bandwidth consumption attack can exploit the throughput limit of servers or network equipment by focusing on high packet rates sending large number of small packets protocol attacks protocol attacks use the expected behavior of protocols such as tcp or udp and icmp to the attacker's advantage a scene flood can be taken as the example of protocol attacks in which the attacker flood the victim with tcp scene packets and the victim allocate resources to accept perceived incoming connections smurf is an asymmetric reflector attack that target a vulnerable network broadcast address with icmp echo request packets and spoof the source of the software vulnerability attacks software vulnerability attacks example logic attacks exploit vulnerability in network software such as the web server or the underlying tcp ip stack some vulnerabilities by crafting even a single malform packets are teardrop exploit tcp ip stacks that do not properly handle overlapping ip fragments landcraft ip packets with the source address and port set to be the same as the destination address and port ping of the date sends a single large icmp echo request packet to the target denial of service attacks may be effective because of a combination of effects for example an attack that does not fully consume bandwidth or overload equipment throughout may be effective because it generates enough malform traffic to crash a particular service such as web server or mail server